What's up everybody, welcome to Beer City Woodworking. My name is AJ, this is my first ever YouTube video, so it's probably not gonna be the greatest. If you have any recommendations on how I can make these better, please leave it in the comments below. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own wine rack, which consists of a bottle of wine, a board that sits over top of it, and it holds two wine glasses. Really awesome for picnics, even just to have in your kitchen, to have as like a conversation piece, if you're going on a date, you really wanna impress somebody, you just bring the bottle out, set it on the table, and it's like BOOM! Also, while I have you, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, which, why would you? This is my first video. And if you have any recommendations for what you'd like to see me build next, please leave it in the comments below. I'll go over them and try to make all your DIY builds come true. All right, so let's get to the video. First thing you're gonna wanna do is measure out your boards. I measured them out to 15 inches a piece. It's actually called a joiner jig or a tapering jig. It's just two clamps strapped to a piece of MDF board. I don't have a joiner, so this is what I use in order to get one side of my boards clean. So we've got our rough sawn boards cut to length and we've got one edge cleaned up on our joiner jig. Now once you have your pieces picked out and cut to rough size, what you're gonna wanna do is take them to the table saw here and we're gonna cut them down to the approximate lengths that we want them thickness wise and then we're gonna plane the sides to make sure when it glues up, everything's nice and tight. When using a table saw, always make sure that you use the proper precautions. You should have a guard over your blade, but I do not have that luxury, so what I'm doing is actually pretty dangerous and I don't recommend doing it like this at home. so I like to put them through the planer. This ensures that when you glue everything up that there's no gaps in the board.
you have a bunch of excess glue beads on your board, what you can do is just take a chisel and chisel those off right before you run into the planner, which we are going to do right now. So what we want to do next is set up our table saw with our crosscut sled so we can even up the edges of the board. Now the pattern I actually created in Adobe Illustrator, what I did was I put a link down in the description to my Instagram and you can just DM me to get the pattern for free. Take some kind of spray adhesive that you have on hand and go ahead and spray that onto the paper and then apply the paper to the board. I use an X-Acto knife to cut into the pattern to make sure that I knew where to drill later. Trace the pattern with a pencil. know that a lot of you people at home also don't have a bandsaw just at your disposal. So this is going to be a cool way to kind of show you how to do it without having to buy expensive machinery. Now we're left with this little surfboard looking thing. And now we're moving on to the most uh, important step, which is drilling the holes that the actual wine glasses will sit in and the wine bottle will rest in. And there's a little trick to this, which I'm gonna show you right now. This part is actually pretty important. What I'm doing here is I took a 3 16th drill bit and I drilled that right through the center of the board so that way I knew where to go from the top and the bottom. I took an arbor bit that I found that fit the top of the wine bottle and I drilled into the board about three quarters of the way in. Then I flipped over the board and I used my smaller arbor bit to drill through the top, which I lined up to the 3 16th bit that I used to drill all the way through at the beginning to ensure that the holes would be centered with each other. the armor bits that I found fit my stem glassware and I drilled the holes for those on the sides. Again because I don't have a bandsaw I just used a jigsaw to cut from the edges straight into the center of those circles and I marked that with a square. router go ahead and set that depth to whatever you like I always like to do a test board that way I know that the round over is exactly how I want it to be This part 
part is also extremely important when you're routering out those circles that you cut. Make sure that your depth isn't too deep to the point where your bearing isn't riding on the board anymore or you're gonna have a lot of problems. As always, give it a good sanding. I like to do a 110 grit on my orbital sander and then I like to use hand sandpaper down to 220. to finish this um, but since it's not going to have actual food cut up on it or anything I'm just going to use a uh, Minwax uh, semi-glossy urethane so once you have that on you're going to want to sand it down with uh, 120 grit up to 220 grit sandpaper and uh, then it'll be finished so let's get let's get this thing finished up going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are going to be posting more videos and we'll catch you on the next one.